What's going on you future architects and awesome creatives? In today's lesson we're going to be looking at AutoCAD for Mac and how to export our floor plans for presentation panels. So let's jump into it. Alright guys, so as you can see I have my floor panels, um, floor plans located here. Um, I've, you can see all these pre-colors, I've kind of used a layer convention here um, with my different architecture layers, um, vegetation, stairs, plumbing, whatnot. Um, so obviously you're not going to want to export as all these pre-colors. Um, this is great for modeling and I highly suggest using it, um, but obviously for our presentation panels we just want black or white. Um, so what we're going to do is, this is our model space if you guys have never used it, and we also have our paper spaces for exporting um, and saving different sheets so down here on the left hand side for Mac you've got layout 1 and 2 if you're using a PC I believe it's over here on the right hand side um, same titles layer 1 layer 2 now if we double click on that or even single click we can go into it um, and we have our sheet here for exporting now I believe in PC you can right click that and go into um, paper styles or something but for Mac we have to go up here to file and page setup manager now Obviously for competitions we've probably been given a certain criteria of the sheet that we need to deal with um, Whether that be a1 or a3 or whatnot So we can come up here we have layout 1 selected and we can select this little cog here and go edit This will bring up a dialog. We're not so much worried about the printer because we are exporting as a PDF Right, um, let's say we want an A1 for competition panels. Now, A1 might not be there for default for you guys, so what we can do is click this Manage Custom Sizes here. Um, we've got a few preloaded options here that I've already loaded up, but if you guys don't have them, you can hit this plus one. You've got new paper size there if you want a completely custom one um, from scratch, or we've got select from list here. Now we've got letters, A0s, A1s, A3s. Um, so obviously I've clicked A1 um, and I've hit OK. All right, this is just our margins on either side. I'm just going to change this uh, to 0 0.64 to match all the others. Um, so this will just be that dotted line around the outside. And you can see that our paper size is 841 mils by 1189 mils, which I know is correct for an A0, but I actually want an A1. So 594 by 841. And again, I'm just going to change this to 0 0.64, um, just to keep it in line with everything else. Hit OK, so now we have an A1 here, what to print layout. So that is fine because what we're looking at doing is printing that layout and what we want to do is fit it one to one scale. Um, so one millimeter should equal one unit. So keep that in mind. Now we can center it on page if we want, but I'm not going to worry about it up here. Now, in order to get it from colored over to a black and white monochrome, we have a drop down here. Now by default, it is printed as display, but what you want to select is this grayscale one here. All right, now obviously because it's presentation panels, we also want to have a maximum um, quality on this as we export it. All right, now everything else should be fine. Now if you hit OK, and close that down. Now we have an A1 sheet here. Now in order to get our floor plans from our model space over to our paper space, what we want to do is create a viewport. So if we hit viewport, and make sure you hit viewport with an S, so viewports, hit enter, and we've got a few different options here. Now I'm sure they've all got their different uses, but we've got, um, what we're gonna do is click single. Hit okay. And what this allows us to do is click once and click a second time to kind of um, put our viewport in. Now, what I can do is, well, what I would suggest is I already have kind of an idea of your presentation panels before you jump into this stage because you're going to want to know um, what kind of size you want to put them in. So you can kind of build a rectangle um, over wherever you need to at the correct size that you want to export. And then you can kind of scale this viewport however you kind of need to. So if we want our viewports just kind of um, in that kind of box, then we can kind of um, do that, right? Just by kind of scaling that viewport down and then delete that, um, that rectangle afterwards. 
right so this is kind of the size we want to export at and what I've done there is I've just double clicked inside the viewport you'll see that it's become highlighted and now this is kind of activate our model space and I can kind of move this around and adjust somewhere close to the correct scale I want it now if I double click outside of that um, we're now back into our layout space and I can then select my viewport right now you can see over here on the right hand side we've got this annotation scale, standard scale, custom scale. This is the one we really kind of want to be looking at. Um, if you start having issues with, with line type scales and whatnot you can start playing with these and seeing if it will adjust it. But just to keep this tutorial short we're just going to be looking at these scales. If you are on a PC I believe that these kind of all these properties box is over on the left hand side but it should look pretty much the same thing. Right, so now that we've got our viewport selected, what we can do is look in, look at putting in a custom scale or a standard scale. So if I just want a 1 to 100, I can drop down that standard scale and select 1 to 100. Right, and that's pretty accurate to where I want it, right? So I can just kind of bump up this viewport just slightly. Now obviously if you have a smaller thing you might want to be better off doing 1 to 50. If your presentation or your um, competition actually specifies what scale to put them at, make sure you do that. If you want a custom scale, if I want a 1 to 500, then always hit 1 forward slash 500 and that will drop my scale down. But obviously for this we don't want that, we're just going to go back to the 1 to 100. Now we've got our floor plan set up there and all our layout set up. So now it's just a case of going up to the file, export. This will come up. Um, if you don't have this drop down, obviously you've got that area just like any other Mac kind of application. Uh, I'm happy with floor plans, PDF, current layout. So current layout is layout one, so I'm all happy with that. I'm just gonna throw this on my desktop and click save. Floor plans already exist, yep, whatever. And I'll just save that. Now, over here on the left hand side, you'll see a plot and publish is successful, hopefully. There we go, plot and publish job complete. Right, so now I can minimize this down and go into these floor plans and this will open up my A1 panel with my um, my floor plans there at the 1 to 100 scale that I wanted. Right, so it's as simple as that guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a comment down below if you have any questions and smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more great um, content in the future. Until next time guys, have an awesome week and I'll see you guys on the next video.